happy Thursday. We're on Thursday. Um, this is our hour Pilates together. Um, quick little bits of housekeeping. Hopefully you can see I am trying to accommodate the view. Um, I'll be honest, I'm working through some low back problems right now. I shouldn't say problems, some low back tension. Um, so we're going to be staying down on the floor today, which means I could kind of adjust the camera a little bit closer, which is really cool. Um, you might see me modifying to a modification that's working for the, the stuff that's happening for me. Um, please feel free to adjust to the modifications I'm verbally saying as opposed to actually doing because... It's, it's going to be a fun day today. Um, you don't need any props. You're always welcome to grab a blanket if you'd like to toss a blanket behind your head. And just one more little housekeeping update. Um, I am figuring out YouTube. I'm like this close to getting it organized. And of course, once we're on YouTube, we're able to get a much better view of what's going on. So it's happening. It's coming. We're getting there. Um, let's start today. Let's start on our backs. So making your way down. Kind of fun when we have new angles happening. So onto your back, bring your knees into your chest. Maybe give yourself a little rock side to side. Starting to connect in with where your breath is at today. And let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And exhale side out through your mouth. If this rocking and rolling is feeling nice and you'd like to take a twist, we're going to let those legs fall over to the right nice and calmly. Your left arm can come out to the side like a T. It can bend like a cactus or it can reach up overhead. This is my favorite night right now. It's giving such a beautiful experience of opening through the whole left side. And again, taking that nice big breath in, but trying to really focus the inhale into expanding through the sides of the left rib, the sides of the left waist, the sides of the left hip. So we're inhaling, inhaling, inhaling here, and exhaling, letting that breath go. Now, if you're noticing that your head is struggling to find the floor here, great opportunity to slide some blankets or pillows underneath. Taking one more breath in. As we breathe out, guiding those legs back to center, they can go along the floor, they can lift right back up, giving yourself another little rock side to side, little massage. And then when you're ready, letting those legs go all the way over to the left side. Right arm can come out like a T, like a cactus, reaching up overhead. And again, just enjoying a bit of an experience of opening here, focusing on inhaling into the lateral, the side part of the right ribs, the right hip, the right waist. Even noticing through your shoulder too, right, if it's, if it's having a hard time connecting to the floor. Like mine is <laughs> on this side. Our body works in spirals, and so from side to side, there can be completely different experiences, which is um, kind of cool, right? It makes every side a little bit unique and different. Taking one more big breath in here through the nose. Exhaling it out. Let's continue rolling in this direction until we're up onto hands and knees. Um, and I'm going to flip over this way. So up on our hands and our knees here, wrists are stacked right underneath our shoulders, knees are right underneath our hips. If we were to be totally lazy, it would be like a cool slouchy position here, shoulders to ears. So we want to really work on pushing the floor away from us so we already start to stabilize through that upper body. We're going to work our cat cow today from our head, so maybe a little different than we've done in the past. Hi, Irina. <laughs> we're going to nod our chin towards our chest. We're going to start to really puff up through the tops of the shoulders, through the middle part of that thoracic, the lower part of that thoracic, and then the lower lumbar spine starts to scoop. And you're welcome to find some glutes here. Maybe enjoying a bit of a stretch across the low back or through the upper part of your spine. And then we're going to release from our heads as well. So it's kind of, this feels like a turtle to me, like a turtle peeking out from its shell. So we're going to do a little head nod forward, start to let those shoulder blades draw down your back and as the shoulder blades draw down your collarbones, your sternum gets to open and then we've arrived in that long um, cow belly. Taking a breath in here as you breathe out going from your chin. So we get to like really squish the chin to the chest. <laughs> Sounds really fun. Rounding through that spine, so being really nice and particular in our movement here. Taking an opportunity to find some space through those vertebrae, inhaling. As we breathe out, lengthening out that little turtle head nod, and you get to really enjoy a little bit of retraction here through the shoulders, through the shoulder blades, I should say. One more time, fanning out the tail feather, feathers of your tailbone behind you, just seeing how your spine is feeling today before we crack on with all the lots, all the lovely lots of fun Pilates stuff, bringing yourself back around. If you want to just go for a little bit of a shoulder circle here, we're just going to circle our weight around our shoulders, 
Maybe if your toes are tucked, you get a bit of a stretch for those feet as you take your glutes behind you. Just sort of seeing how your wrists are feeling today. We are going to be on our wrists a little bit, not like tons, 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 um, but we will be weight bearing. It's good to make sure that we're still strengthening through our wrists, even if we're at home like typing tons. And then circle the other way. All right, we're going to crack on with a bit of core. So flipping back onto your back. I'm like super, super excited for you because I did this yesterday and I was like the whole time. So we get to kind of have that experience together. Lying on our backs, we're going to bring the soles of our feet together to start so that your thighs can open out in a bit of a butterfly. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your knees to be open, you can just slide books or blocks or something underneath. But what I want you to focus on is as your thighs are out like this, can your hip bones and pubic bone be completely balanced? So not scooped underneath, not overextended. They want to be on the same plane. You're going to take your fingers, interlace your hands behind your head, and just lift up your elbows, but give your head a little wobble in your hands to make sure that we're not super duper gripping through our necks. Starting to find that Pilates breath, you're inhaling through your nose into the backs and sides of the ribs, and exhaling out through your mouth. As you do that, the ribs draw down, the pelvic floor draws up. Inhaling through your nose into the backs and sides of the ribs. Exhaling out through your mouth. One more time. Inhaling as we inhale, we're expanding backwards sideways. As we exhale, our rib cage draws down, our pelvic floor is drawing up. So not my actual pelvis, the pelvic floor. And the belly button is opening wide. Don't worry if that's a lot of information, it's gonna make sense in a second. Inhaling to be here, looking up at the ceiling. As we breathe out, using the rib cage to slide down the torso as we curl up and we take a look over the horizon of our feet. Now here, make sure that your bum didn't scoop or extend, it's exactly the same as where you just had it. Inhale to lengthen your upper body back, little peek at the ceiling. As you breathe out, we're thinking about driving the back ribs down the body, that works as leverage to curl you up. Inhale to lengthen back, that pelvis is still staying completely still. As you exhale, the front of the rib cage is also sliding down the torso, and that gives you leverage to curl up. Inhale to lengthen back, as you exhale through your mouth, maybe you're trying to lift your sternum up and over something, and that's what brings you up. So a few different ways to think about this, yeah? But most importantly for right now, making sure your head stays completely heavy in your hands. So you're not pulling from your neck, that would be a really uncomfortable place to be moving from. We wanna really be thinking about thoracic spine and rib cage. Inhaling as you take it back before you take a break, exhale to curl it up. Now little bits of housekeeping as we're working here. We want to make sure again we're not squeezing in towards our head. That would be creating tension that we actually don't want to be creating right now. As we're inhaling and as we're exhaling, our upper body is moving, but everything belly button to pubic bone and down, even into your legs, is staying completely still physically that we can see or structurally that we can see. But internally, your pelvic floor runs pubic bone to coccyx. It's a series of tissues. As you exhale, is drawing up. That's how it goes when you exhale anyway, so we're not trying to make something different happen. That's what's already happening. So as we exhale, we're trying to ride that wave. Last little bit of housekeeping is as we curl, we don't want to push up through our bellies or squeeze into the middle section of our belly. We actually want that to think about opening wide. We have a few more here and I'm hoping now that we've been here for a hot second, we're starting to feel things warming up. Let's go for two. I'm already like brrr. Last one, you're gonna curl up, you're gonna hold it here. Now can you keep all of the foundation exactly as it is? We're gonna take those legs and bring them up so that they are now parallel, so your feet are on the floor. I'm gonna wiggle back just a little bit so you can see what my feet are doing. <laughs> and our goal here is to maintain this flexion you've created, keep your head heavy in your hands, and keep your pelvis balanced. You're gonna lift up your left toes, but your left heel stays slightly connected to the floor. You're gonna slide the left leg away. Now as the left leg reaches, notice if the pelvis wants to teach or totter we want to keep the pelvis completely stable inhale to pull that left leg in the whole time you're increasing your flexion here so as my leg goes it's kind of like I'm like oh what's going on and I want to curl up a little bit higher inhale to pull that left leg in now notice if the right side of the pelvis is teeter tottering or lifting to try to support that left leg movement <sighs> two more I'm keeping my left hand behind my head slide and reach pull that left leg in one more time exhale to slide Again, notice if your pelvis wants to do anything to destabilize you. Let's inhale to take it back just for a second. And then exhale, let's curl back up. So keeping hip bones, pubic bone balanced as best as you can. Thinking about that flexion happening from the ribs, but letting the head be completely supported in your hands. The right toes lift this time. Right heel is lightly connected to the floor. Without moving your pelvis, I'm already shaking. Let's slide the right leg away. 
Inhale to pull it in. Now moving through the pelvis, pelvis exhale <laughs> to slide it out. Now this is seemingly not really that big of a deal if you're looking at it, right? And that's because the bulk of the work is happening really, really deep internally to stabilize. So really simple choreographically, but so much happening to maintain your flexion and to maintain your pelvic stability here. Pull the right leg in. Do not let those hips take a little teeter-totter. And as your leg goes, remember you're doing like a little extra curl just to be like, hmm, what's happening? One more time. Deep, deep, deep abdominal work here. Slide the leg out. Inhale, pull the leg in. Take a little breath. We're going to do 10 little pulses up in space here for 10. And as you curl, 9. Do not let that pelvis tuck underneath you. 7. It's balanced. 6. 5. Four, keep breathing for three, keep breathing for two. Last one, hold it here, 10, nine, squeeze, eight, seven, wide belly, wide hips. For three, for two, for one, bring it down. Whew. Give your legs a little shake side to side. Well, that was absolutely thrilling. <laughs> okay, let's add on from there. So if that felt really amazing, you're always welcome to keep your feet down on the floor. We're gonna do a little bit of rolling up and down with the spine because we're gonna add that to our abdominal work. I'm gonna like snail scooch myself down here. So feet are pressing down into the floor. Pelvis is still nice and level. Your hands can be on the floor, palms up, elbows bent but active or arms reaching up into the air. I'm gonna keep my arms reaching up. If your arms are up in any capacity, squeeze your hands into fists and squeeze all of the muscles in your arms. Squeeze them, squeeze them. Feet are parallel, hip distance apart. Let's take a breath in. As we breathe out, you're gonna use the space, the fleshy low belly space below your belly button to scoop towards your low back towards the floor. Press your feet down. You're gonna roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time. At the top, take a breath in. Really hug heels to glutes, really shoot the middle of the thighs forward, and then we're gonna try to reverse engineer that. So we're like scooping and hollowing, scooping and hollowing, scooping and hollowing. And don't worry if you're actually watching me and you're like, it doesn't look like much is happening. I have stuff happening in my back right now um, that's like kind of prohibiting me from being super articulated. Take a breath in. So let's like totally listen to the words. As we exhale, we're scooping our low back towards the floor. So that lumbar spine curves towards the floor. Then we fire our glutes and we're trying to peel up one vertebrae at a time, lengthening those thighs forward, hugging heels to glutes. It's super active behind us, yeah? Taking your breath in, your arms are nice and stable and strong. And then as we exhale again, we reverse engineer from the sternum, undulating our spine. That's such a fun word to say. I really enjoy saying that. Back to neutral. Two more times. Breathing it in. So feeling those feet plowing down into the floor, feeling the abdominal work that's supporting you here. Then getting into the glutes, hamstrings, lengthening out through the front of the body. Imagine there's something like a ball or a book between your thighs. You're giving a little gentle squeeze into. As you exhale again, we're trying to create more space. So every time you put your spine down, it's like a little bit taller than the last time you were here. One more time, we're gonna exhale. We're gonna roll our lovely spines all the way up here. So it's sort of like we're in a kneeling plank shape. Take your breath in. You're going to, again, undulate, roll your spine all the way down. But this time it's going to be a bit different. As you arrive with your low back scooped to the floor, you're going to stay there. So instead of releasing all the way out, we're scooping in. It's a really teeny, teeny, tiny thing, um, but it's going to make a huge difference. So we're scooped through our bellies, so there's no space of my low back into the floor. But again, I'm not, I'm not pressing down so I can't breathe. I'm scooping and hollowing. My rib cage is still drawing down. It's like my belly button is a sinkhole and I'm trying to like drop everything into the sinkhole. Okay, hands are gonna come behind my head. I'm gonna walk my feet together now, but my objective, my goal is always gonna be to keep my belly button sinkhole. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, can you keep scooping your sinkhole as you curl up? Hold your scoopy, scoopy, scoopy here. Can you roll up to your toes? As you've rolled up to your toes, can you notice if you lost your scoop? And as you exhale, can you keep scooping? Whew. We're scooped, we're at our toes. Now maybe it makes sense in your body to lift those toes to hover up. Maybe it makes sense. This is a nice one if you want to lift your feet but your hip flexors get bitey, this is a good solution. If you want to, you can lift all the way up to a tabletop if that makes sense. If your feet are lifted, you're gonna flex out through your feet. We're gonna inhale to take our upper body back. As it goes back, make sure you don't lose that scoop. Exhale, scoop through pubic bone to belly button. That gives you leverage as you curl up. So now there's like a ice cream scoop in the middle of our bellies. Inhale to lengthen back. As you lengthen back, don't lose your ice cream scoop. 
Exhale, keep ice cream scooping, keep sliding the ribs, keep lifting up and over. So my low back inhale to take the body back. As I exhale, my low back is continually trying to dig a hole into the floor behind me. My feet are active if they're lifted. They could be down, they could be on your toes. I'm gonna keep my feet down on my, to my toes right now because of the stuff that I have happening in my body, but you can be in any of those modifications. We're going for three. Remember, the goal here is that fleshy low belly space. I know that you're likely feeling majority like upper portion of your rectus. That's fine. You're going to feel that anyway. Last time, we want to think low belly hold. Now, if your feet are up, we're flexed through those feet. Keep the angle of your leg. Keep scooping. As you breathe out, you're going to take that left leg and move it. But it's not completely going to touch the floor. Okay? It's only going like three quarters of the way. And as you do that, you're scooping, scooping, scooping. Stay there, breathe in. And then scoop deeper and pull that leg up. Stay there, breathe in. Right leg. As you breathe out, you're scooping, scooping, scooping. Right leg goes almost to the floor. Hold it there. Scoop a little bit more. And then exhale, pull that leg in. Inhale here as you exhale. Left leg. It keeps the angle so it's moving away from you. Scoop, 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 scoop. And then pull that leg back in. Right leg. Breathe in. As you breathe out, scoop, 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 scoop. Right leg lowers almost to the floor and then pull it in. If that's working for you, keep going there. If your toes are on the floor, you're just doing the opposite where you lift it up. And then you push it down. And then you exhale, lift. And then draw it down. So wherever option is going to allow you to scoop the greatest through your abdominals, is going to allow you the least amount of tension in your head, neck, shoulders, and is going to allow you the most pelvic stability. Because remember, your pelvis is not allowed to teeter-totter today. Sometimes we do. We absolutely do add that in sometimes. But today, we're working stability. <sighs> Take it down. Are you on fire yet? I'm on fire. Let's do one more each side. Left side. Hold it there in that little hover. Scoop the belly more. Pull that left leg up. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Right leg takes it to the almost to the floor. Breathe in. Exhale. Pull that leg up. Freeze. Inhale. Take your upper body back in space. Exhale. Nod your chin. Curl up. We're going to do 10 little scoopy ab pulses right at center. Here we go. 10. 9. Keep breathing. 8. Breathe it up. 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, take a little break. Little rock side to side if you need. All right. So we have options, right? You could be sliding your leg nice and long. You could totally stay in that little toe hover, or we could spice it up a little bit more. Are you warm now? I'm totally, I'm totally warm. Okay, on our backs. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale it out. We're gonna take that breath in. And as we breathe out, we're gonna do that little scoop. So it's as if we were gonna lift all the way up, but we don't. We do the scoop, but we keep our glutes nice and gentle here. I actually don't want your glutes to be working. I wanna isolate the work through the abs without the glutes. Hands are gonna come behind your head. Take your breath in. And as you breathe out, you can nod your chin and curl it up. So already right out of the gate, I want to make sure that we're fueling abdominal work here. Yeah, we've scooped, we've curled, there's tension across the body, nice and wide. Up to you with your feet, you can keep your feet planted, you could roll up to your toes, you could do little toe hover, you could do tabletop, right? Whatever's going to allow you the most amount of scoop through your low back. Let's do a little ab curl just to sort of check in with our home base. Inhale to lengthen back, and then exhale to slide up. Now I'm going to keep my toes down because of what's happening in my body today, but you're welcome to be wherever you need to be, right? We're going to inhale to take it back, and then as you exhale, can you curl up and over to the left and then pause? Take your right hand for me, and can you flip it so palm is down? And you're going to try to set your pinky finger up somewhere along the outside of your left thigh if you can, which means you might have to curl up a little bit higher than you're used to. Notice if your hips teeter-totter, that's the most important thing. You're going to keep your hand against your thigh. Remember, you could be here, you could be lifted with those legs. You're going to go back just a little. It's sort of like you're slicing across that thigh and then exhale really curl up remember you're scooped here so you might have more range inhale I'm like see 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 sign across my left thigh with my right hand <sighs> inhale and I'm actively pressing in here so there's no like pretend easing I'm actually pressing inhale to lengthen back exhale to 
curl. Now again, notice if your pelvis wants to teeter-totter, wants to rock side to side. Your upper body is curled for sure, but your lower body is staying completely in that ice cream scoop parallel position. You could be here, you could be here with those legs, right? Inhale back just a little, exhale curl it up. These are our obliques, yeah? Let's go for two, exhale to curl. One more time, you're going to curl it back. We're doing little pulses here. Please press thigh and hand towards each other. Keep pelvis stable. Keep scooping. Little pulses up for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and then hold it maximum. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your right hand behind your head. Take a little break. You can lower your feet down to the floor. Give yourself a little massage if you'd like to, but I don't want to take too much of a break. So as soon as you're ready, Planting your feet down. Remember, they can be completely on the floor if you need. Hands behind your head. Let's start in our neutral hip bones and pubic bone are level. Take a breath in here. As you breathe out, we start with the pelvic scoop. It's like there's a little like digger, like digger scooper truck. Let's come back here. No glutes though. That's all happening from the belly. As you scoop, notice if your ribs pop up. We still want to draw our ribs down, right? Drawing in towards our midsection and then flattening wide. Once you have your scoop, you're inhaling with your body to the floor and then exhale, nod your chin and curl up. And again, we've been here a few times now, so I'm hoping we've curled and we're already like, oh, there's tension here. It's happening. Feet could be on the floor. We could roll up to our toes. We could hover those toes. You can be in a tabletop. I like feet flexed in tabletops. So it's up to you. I am again going to keep my toes down because of what's happening in my body. We're going to inhale to lengthen back. This time we exhale, curl up and over to the right. And my left pinky finger side of my hand finds the outside of the thigh. So palm is flipped down and we're squeezing that left pinky finger into the right thigh without moving through our hips. Inhale to take it back just a little and then exhale to really reach up and press pinky finger and thigh towards each other. Notice if the pelvis does funky things. We want to keep it totally still. Inhale back a little bit and then exhale, scoop deeper, curl up and reach. And because your pelvis is scooped, you maybe have more range than when it was parallel. Inhale to take it back. Exhale to curl it up. Inhale back a little. Exhale, scoop and curl. <laughs> Inhale back a little. It's happening. Now again, I have stuff happening in my body, so this is really teeny tiny for me because that's the only amount of range I can find. But for your body, you might be able to in fact curl up a little bit higher, maintaining your scoop, maintaining the pressure, the connection, pinky finger to thigh, back a little bit, exhale up and scoop. <laughs> Sweet fire, let's go for two, exhale it up. One more time, exhale, Curl it here. Little baby, remember your feet can be where you need. Pulses up for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, three. Are you on fire? I'm on fire. Two. Last one and then hold it. Ten, nine, eight. Scoop deeper. Curl up higher. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Little rock and roll with those hips. Last little bit of business. We're going to add a few of these pieces together. So here we go. Grand finale for this section. Hands are going to interlace behind your head. Now I'm keeping, I'm trying to find the right, like the sweet spot where you can see my head and my feet, but we might lose each other a little bit. Starting with your scoop. Inhale, we're looking up at the ceiling. As we exhale, we're thinking about that little bit of a dig, that little bit of an imprint, as we call it in Pilates, towards the floor. And that just means that little ladybug house you had in neutral, we're scooping, right? Not just flat pressing. Please don't flat press your back into the floor because you're going to pop up and that's not the kind of tension we want. Scoop. Ribs are drawing down, so everything is sinkholing to the belly button and then flattening and opening wide. Okay, hands are behind our heads. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, we find that flexion again that we've really been working on. Now we flex and we're scooped. You are, it's your user's choice with your legs, right? You are the boss of you. So you could roll up to your toes if you'd like. As long as you're still scooping, you could hover those toes. You could lift those legs up. I'm going to keep my toes down because I can't maintain my scoop otherwise, but you might be at a different spot. 
We're gonna inhale to lengthen back as you exhale, curl up and over to your left oblique twist, keeping your pelvis stable but scooped. Inhale, lengthen back through center, curl it up and over to the right, your pelvis is stable but scooped. Inhale to lengthen, but don't let those ribs pop. As we exhale, everything, sink holes to the belly button. Inhale to lengthen back in space, exhale up and over to the right. So you're doing an oblique twist here, yeah? Changing directions every time you exhale and curl up in space. Now your legs keep going with the upper body, I'm gonna add on. If this feels fantastic, you can stay in these twists. If you'd like to additionally up the spice, you can maybe lift those legs. And as you twist, the opposite leg finds the floor. So I twist to the left, I'm gonna toe tap my right foot. I push those right toes down, I scoop more, and the scoop more lets me curl up higher. Inhale, I bring that leg to center as I lengthen back. Remember, I'm still scooped. As I exhale, I curl up and over to the right. My left toes dig into the floor. The pushing of the toes scoop me deeper. Maybe I curl up a little bit higher. Inhale, both legs find center, lengthen back. Exhale, curl up and over to the left. Maybe right toes press into the floor. Inhale, lengthen back, find center. Exhale, up and over to twist. Okay, that's option one. Keep moving if that's working. Option two, your toes are in the floor. As you curl up and over to the left, lift the left leg. <sighs> Inhale, take it back, both toes find the floor. As you curl up and over to the right, the right leg lifts. <sighs> But remember, the whole time you're moving here, your pelvis does not rock and roll. It stays completely scooped, completely stable. That's what's working into those deep low abs here, yeah? I'm gonna do the two toes down, lift one leg up, but you can be wherever you need to be. The next time you're on the left side, hold it there. Right toes are pressing into the floor. Left leg is lifted. We're curled up and over, little pulses up to the left for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, I'm squeezing, two, last one, hold it here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, can you curl up a smidgen higher, three, two, one, inhale to lengthen back in your version of center, keep scooping the abs, exhale, find your twist up and over to the right, whatever that means for you, we're curled up, so, so high, shoulder blades are off the floor, yeah, pelvis is nice and level, little pulses to the right, here we go, eight, seven, six, Five, oh my God, four, three, two, hold it up here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it in. Oh, little windshield wipers of those legs. My abs are on fire, so I really hope we're all feeling the same things here, yeah? Nice big breath in through the nose. Breathe it out, little windshield wipers. And then you can roll all the way over onto one side. Bring your lovely selves up. We're gonna do a little bit of glute work together. So I'm gonna lie down on my right side first. Now it's up to you if you would like to be up on your forearm or if you would like to be lying all the way down. Lying all the way down is gonna give you a little bit more release through the shoulders, although you're still working through the waist. Being up on your forearm, it's like you're in a side plank the whole time. Yes, this arm could be up or down, it's up to you. We're gonna take those legs, I'm gonna scoot down a little bit so you can see my legs hopefully fairly clearly. And we're nice and long through the waist, <sighs> ribs are drawn in. Squeeze your heels together just for a moment and I just want you to feel the tension that, that builds in your body and you're gonna keep that tension. Lengthening through the tail, that bottom rib is <sighs> drawn up and in no matter if you're on the floor or up on your forearm. Now we're not gonna squeeze our heels together. We're gonna open our legs like a book. So this top leg is going opening, 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 opening. And then it whole closes down. I'm gonna lie down on my arm, but you can stay wherever you wanna be. So that whole top leg opens up like a book. And then the whole top leg closes down. So little bits of housekeeping as we are moving here together. You want to feel like the back of the thigh or the side of the top thigh, I should say, and the heel are moving together. So it's sort of like a little bit of an energetic arrangement here so that you don't end up in like a dippy place or like a lifting frog place. It's the whole back of the thigh and the back of the ankle and then they all lower down. Okay, so that's housekeeping one, but keep moving where you are. Housekeeping note number two is that that hip is not allowed to move. It could potentially roll back. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes we do that, but today we are not. We're gonna keep the hips really, really nice and stable, just like we did when we were doing our ab work. Here, I'll pop back up so you can see me for a little second. 
Second little bit of business, whether you are up on your forearm or lying completely down, can we draw those ribs in and make sure that we're not popping and extending out through our waist? We want to draw them in nice and stable. We want those bottom ribs to draw up and a nice long top waist. All right, I'm gonna lie back down. Are we starting to feel that top glute? I hope the answer is yes. Opening it up and lowering it down. A little bit of um, like a cheat, like a good cheat to check for yourself if you are stacked through your hips, if looking is like kind of tricky to do, which it totally is. If you look for where your top knee lands when it comes down, we don't want it to be really far back from your bottom knee. We want them to be as close to being stacked on top of each other as possible. I also don't want you to overshoot forward because that means you're rolling forward, yeah? So as close to being stacked as possible, it might not be perfect. And this top leg, which I've definitely been cheating, just gently kisses the bottom leg, yeah? It's not like a ferocious, like, poof, slap down. It's really gentle. Nice and calm. Are we on fire? I'm, I'm approaching fire status. Let's go for two. Nice and calm. One more time. Let's lift it up. And then you're going to bring that leg to parallel. Now check back in with all of your housekeeping, right? We're zipped up through the bottom waist. We're lengthened out through those hips. We're nice and parallel through that leg. My leg is shaking. We're going to take this thigh. Imagine it's gliding against water. So we're going to pull it in towards the middle of the sternum or to the sternum, middle of the chest or the top shoulder. And then you're going to flex your foot and kick that leg out, but keep it hip height. You could also be done here. Yeah. Point your toe, pull the leg in and just make sure it doesn't drop. Yeah. We want to keep it up. Your, your pelvis can curl here. No problem. And then and we want to flex the foot, lengthen it out, and really kick it away, but it's one long line. Yeah, it's not behind me. We're going to pull the leg in, squeeze, 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 and then flex the foot and kick it away. <sighs> Zip up through the thigh as you kick away. Point your toe, squeeze that leg in. Maybe you round your spine here, flex your foot, push that leg away, stay long through the waist. <sighs> Point and squeeze as you pull it in. Flex and push as it lengthens away, staying hip height. Let's go for three. I sort of feel like a slow-mo superhero when I do this. <sighs> Let's go for two. Flex and push it away. <sighs> One more time. Pull it in. Flex and push it away. Now you're going to keep that leg nice and long, and we're going to pulse that leg up for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven. It's nice and parallel. Six. You can do it. Five. Lift it up. Four, three, but it's not done. Two, last one. Do not drop that leg. Can you pull it back in so it's in a parallel hover? Slow little circles for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two. I'm shaking last one other way for eight. Nothing else moves. Seven, six, just the thigh. Five, femur in your hip socket. Four, get spicy. Three, two. Last one, bring it down. Oh. oh gosh. Booty, booty, booty. Yeah, we felt that in that top bum cheek, yeah? Hopefully. Let's come on to our hands. We're going to take our hands and we're going to spiral them, please, so that they are going to go in just a little bit. Not a huge amount, just a little bit. And then there's a few little bits and pieces you can pick from here. So if you feel the most comfortable weight bearing in a tabletop because you know that you have more stability through your legs, feel free to stay here. If you'd like to take a bit of a kneeling plank here, your glutes are on and you're pushing that floor away, you're here. If you're feeling warmed up and super spicy, you can lift up into a plank. Now, no matter where we are, little bits of housekeeping, you are going to push that floor away from you, like super, super, super push the floor away from you. Then once you've pushed the floor away, you're going to feel like you're pulling your hands wide of each other, but they're still connected to the floor, yeah? And then once they've done that, you're going to squeeze your heels of your hands down towards your knees or your feet, wherever you are. So it's really super, super active here. Glutes are on. We're feeling things, yeah? Let's go nice and slowly. So we're going to bend through those elbows for three. We're going to bend for two. We're going to bend for one. We're going to hold it here for a hot second and then nice strong push up. We're going to go for three. You're hugging those heels toward the heels of your hands towards your knees. Two. Last one. Hold it for a second. Strong push. Keep going. Now, if being on the floor is not an option for you, you could always be up on an angle, right? So like on a 
like on a table or on a couch, or you could also be on the wall. So you could totally be at the wall. Three, two, one, strong push. Wherever you are, let's do three more all together. Down for three, down for two, little hold, strong push. Down for three, down for two, little hold, strong push. One more time. Three, can you hear my voice that I'm feeling this too? One strong push, little finale if you'd like to. Spin your fingers back to parallel. Find a version of plank. Any version of plank will do here. So you could have your feet wide, you could have them narrow, you could be on your knees if you'd like to, you could be on your forearms if you'd like to, whatever feels good for you. And I am timing it like actually for realsies. Let's be here for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six. Now don't lose any of that work we've already done. Yeah, keep pushing the floor away. Keep using your glutes, grow long from head to tail, and then gently you can push back into a shell stretch. Feels pretty good. Well, it feels pretty good for me. If it doesn't feel good for you to be belly down, feel free to flip over um, onto your back and you can bring your knees into your chest that way. Nice big breath in through the nose. Exhale it out. Are we not like so chuffed to buggery that we get to do that all again on the other side? That's maybe one of my most favorite British sayings is chuffed to buggery. <laughs> I throw it in my life wherever I can. Okay, coming on to that second side. So my left forearm is here. If this is feeling like an excellent option for you, again, you're gonna get a little bit more side body. So a little bit more oblique here. You're pushing that forearm into the floor, squeezing it in, a little bit more work for the upper body, right? If you're feeling neck and shoulder stuff, that might not feel fabulous. So you can always come down onto your forearm, no problem. Wherever you are, let's stack the hips on top of each other. Okay, I'm gonna scoot myself up just a little bit and we are long through the waist. Watching that those ribs aren't super popping out, we wanna draw them in. Give your legs a squeeze, like actually squeeze them together, even though we're not doing a clam opening. And as you squeeze them, can you feel how things fire up through the top thigh? I want you to keep that if you can. And then in one swift movement, that whole top thigh opens up, we're showcasing our inner thigh, and then it gently lowers down, just like a little, little kiss to that bottom thigh. We lengthen it out and up and open and then lower down, out and up and open, and then lower down. I love these leggings so, so much. They're like buttery soft and lovely, but as soon as they start to sweat a little bit, it like they do that thing where it looks like you peed yourself. So I just really had to check for a moment, like, um, <laughs> but we're good, I think we're good. Draw into those ribs, lengthening up and open now again it'll be tempting to roll back through those hips we want to keep the hips as stable as we can it's the same idea as when we were working into our abs right and we were stabilizing across our pelvis there's already so many things that want to happen here in rotation in like side lifting all of those kinds of things so as we're moving other parts of our body we're strengthening our pelvis by working its neutral stability again you could always be up here if you'd like to totally an option it's a little bit spicier for the upper body. I wanna make sure it doesn't turn into like beach vacation 2020 because I'm sure most of us are looking to, cannot wait to have that happen again. We wanna really push the forearm down and really hug the forearm in. That's what's gonna give us lots of opportunity for shoulder stability here, although it is a little bit more intense in your neck, potentially. Starting to feel into that bum. If you don't feel your glute yet, really feel like you're sticking your bum out behind you, like you're spreading peacock feathers. Um, or like shining a light. All these funny cues for these body parts. I'm gonna come back down. Let's go for five. Gently lowering. Let's go for four. Now this is the side of my back that sometimes gives me a little bit of issues. So notice I'm still totally able to work into my glute here, but I'm keeping my range a little bit smaller. I'm keeping it a little bit more manageable. Let's go for three. Definitely feeling though through the side of that bum. Let's go for two, bringing it down. Last one, ah, we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna lower parallel. I'm gonna shimmy up my mat a little bit more so you can see what my leg is doing. We're gonna squeeze that leg in. Remember, it's like it's gliding across water. So it's coming up towards our sternum or our upper shoulder. We flex that foot, fire glutes and quads and push that leg long, 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 long away. I'm zipped up nice and tight. Pointing my foot, pulling that leg in towards me. 
flexing and pushing that leg away. <sighs> Lots of work happening here, yeah? Nice little bit of opening through the uh, front of the hip flexor if that's tight for you today, like mine is on this side. Flex it in, and then point and reach. <sighs> so I'm gonna shimmy back down so I can see you. <laughs> So as we're moving here, really, really tempting for that leg to start to slowly drop down. We want to keep it up. We want to keep it hip height because that's what's going to work through that abduction or those abductors of our glutes. Flex and pull it in. You can have, remember, that pelvic tuck here. But then as we point and we release it back, the pelvis switches. So now we do get to add in that bit of movement. It's coming in with us. And then we adjust as we stick our glutes out and reach that leg long. Firing it up here. Let's go for three. This is like really, really nice and slow-mo here. <laughs> Remember that like slow motion action figure hero man or woman or person for two. Point and reach. One more time. Flex it in. Point it out. And then pause. Okay, I'm going to shimmy back up my mat. Your leg is nice and long. We're going to flex out through that foot and you're going to pulse that leg up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't drop it, pull it back in parallel freeze. Make sure you're really nice and supported through that body. Little circles here for eight, for seven, for six. You keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Other way for eight, seven, belly stable. Remember, you could always be up on your forearm. For three, for two, last one, bring it down. We are definitely going to stretch through our glutes, or I should say, like, give them a little bit of a, a zhuzh, um, but first we're going to do our push-ups. So, hands are going to be a little bit wider now, not super, super wide. Like, sometimes we do this and our hands are on the outsides of our mats. I don't want us to go that wide, just wi a little bit wider than the way they were before. Again, you're going to take your hands and spin them in just a smidgen. So a little bit wider than they were before. Fingertips are spun in, and then again, you pick. You could be knees underneath your hips. You could be in a kneeling plank. You could be up in a full plank. Wherever you are, though, make sure your glutes are active, yeah? No lazy bums here. You could also be at a, pardon me, 45 degree angle, so on like a bed frame or a bench or something like that, or against your wall, yeah? The higher up you are, the less uh, tension. It's gonna be less weight bearing on your wrists and shoulders. Okay. Here we go. So we're in that lovely long line. We've spun those fingertips in a little bit. We're setting up our home base. Long from head to tail. Push the floor away. Pull the hands wide. Hug heels of hands in. This time we're going to lower down in one and we're going to push up three, two, one. Down for one. Push up for three, two, one. Down for one, push up for three. Now we never let our base of support go. So it is like we're sort of preparing for a plank here through that torso. Down for one, push up three, two, one. Down for one, push up for three, two, one. Down for one. You're pushing through that whole hand. It's coming right from your armpit, yeah? Avoiding any sort of feeling of shoulders to earlobes. We're nice and wide across those collarbones to one, two more. Down, push up for three, two, one. One more time, push up for three, two, one. You're going to bring yourself up into your version of a plank. Now, if your feet are um, supporting you and your thighs are off the floor, walk your legs a little bit wider than you usually would. I'm going to bring myself down because that's where I need to be today. If you can be up on your hands, be up on your hands. We're going to do an extra little bit of oblique work here. So as you're reaching nice and long, as your glutes are on to support you, without shifting through your hips, can you take your right hand and tap your left shoulder and then put it back. And then left hand taps to right shoulder. Now you'll notice I'm saying without moving your hips and then my hips move. And that's because I am also still working on this. So <laughs> together we're working on trying to be so stable through the torso that there's no change to our hips. When you're ready, exhale, tap right shoulder, right hand to left shoulder, <laughs> and then left hand to right shoulder. See, it can be fun too. It can be work and it can be fun. One more time, left hand to right shoulder, and then bring it down. Take a shell stretch if you'd like to. Breathing in here. 
breathing out. We're gonna ripple our spines forward. We're gonna come all the way down onto our bellies here. And we're gonna interlace our fingers down to the floor. So my legs are parallel. My toenails are pressing down into the floor, but your legs don't have to be together. They could be a little bit apart. There's not enough space on the camera with Instagram to show you my full body, so I have to give you words, which is totally cool. So parallel through those legs, toenails are pressing down, thighs and glutes are active, and we're gonna scoop our pelvis towards our pubic bone. I have two more things I wanna do, I think we can make it. Palms are facing down into the floor, fingertips are interlaced, and we're gluing our forehead to our fingertips. So active, active through that lower body. If you give your fingertips a little tug, notice if your shoulders squeeze up to your earlobes. Can we roll the shoulder blades onto the back? So we're really super, super active right out of the gate, yeah? From this place, take a breath in. Take a breath out and draw the ribs in. So I don't want to be pushing down, I want to... And I know this is lots of housekeeping, but it's really so we target the right muscles. Once we're nice and supported here, take your breath in. And as you breathe out, you can maybe lift upper body, fingertips and elbows and chest to a little baby hover. Notice I'm not up super high, I'm really low and I'm keeping my weight edge towards my pubic bone. Take a breath in here and then exhale, lower it down. Keep your finger, your toes glued to the floor. Take a breath in, shoulder blades are sliding along my back. As I breathe out, I press fingertips, I draw ribs, or press toe, sorry. Draw the ribs in, think long from head to tail as I hover, breathe it in here, and then exhale down. Two more, inhale, shoulder blades on my back, pressing those toes into the floor, drawing the ribs in. As I breathe out, I'm sliding my shoulder blades more down my back as I bring myself up. I'm wide across my collarbones, take a breath in here. As I breathe out, I lower it down. One more time, breathe it in, prep up through that upper body, prep through your legs, make sure that everything's secure, and then I exhale, bring myself up. I'm gonna take my left hand down to my left hip and squeeze that arm into a really lovely long tight fist, and then same with my right arm. Can you imagine like you have a towel? You know how sometimes we can like shush, shush, shush across our backs with towels? I kinda want you to imagine that here. Or like we're a bird, we're about to fly through the air. So keeping the shoulder blades on your back, keeping the chest wide and avoiding crunching, right? If you're feeling your low back, lower down a little bit. We're gonna do like a little, a little soar over to the left. Little side bend over. Bring yourself back to center. And then little side bend over to the right. Bring yourself back to center. Little side bend to the left. Back to center. Little side bend to the right. Now as I'm doing these little side bends, I'm trying to keep my pelvis, again, completely nice and stable. So that's sort of the theme of our time together today, right? Is working uh, pelvic stability to move everything else. Those arms are nice and tight. Over to the left. Back to center. Over to the right. Back to center, freeze. Can you hold your torso at center? Remember you have nice tight arms here. You're gonna inhale, sweep the arms out to the side and then up overhead like a V and then exhale all the way back down. Toenails pressing into the floor. Open your arms out to the side like a T and then up like you're doing the YMCA and then squeeze them back down. Through the T, remember those arms are nice and squeezy, squeezy up like you're doing the YMCA and then squeeze those arms back down beside you. We're going. For three, exhale down. We're going for two, exhale squeeze. One more time, open those arms out, bring them down beside you and then pause. Remember, toenails are pressing into the floor, thighs are nice and active, scoop your pelvis towards your pubic bone, glutes are on, belly and ribs are in, arms are nice and tight. We're gonna micro bend through those elbows and then squeeze through your triceps. Little baby bend through your elbows, and then exhale, squeeze through your triceps. Little baby bend. Exhale, squeeze through those triceps. Little baby bend. Exhale, squeeze through those triceps. Two more, little bit of a bend. Exhale, squeeze and reach. One more time, little bit of a bend. Squeeze and reach, and then hold and then pulse those arms up, please. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze your arms into fists for 5, for 4, 3, 2, Hold the arms here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one, gently lower down. You can let one cheek find the mat. Taking a nice big breath in here through the nose and exhaling it out through your mouth. If you'd like to plant your hands and push back into a shell stretch, you totally can. We're gonna do a little kneeling thing, which is like pretty exciting if you ask me. Um, if your knees need a little bit of extra cushion, if you're going to be up weight bearing on them, grab a blanket or a pillow or anything that's going to just give you a bit of extra cushion. I know that that's what my body really, really likes, so I like to make sure to have one here. Whew. We're up nice and kneeling. We're going to work a little bit through those hamstrings and through those glutes and through our quads and a little bit of arms, a little bit of rotation, a little bit of everything, and then we're done. So setting up here is super important. It's that same alignment that we just practiced down on the floor. So instead of sort of sticking our bellies out, we want to really think about tucking. And you can really, really tuck here. Think about scooping your pubic bone forward, zipping up through your glutes, zipping up through your thighs. And you're like poking, poking, poking to try to just make sure everything's on. Up to you if you want toes to be tucked or untucked. I like untucked. I just find it nice around my joints. Hands are going to come across your shoulders. And again, we want to avoid any sort of like booty popping out. We want to really, really scoop, scoop, scoop. You're going to take a breath in. We're going to hinge it back. So you can keep it small with this first one if you'd like to. We're just going to like boop, 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 like we're doing the matrix. And what I just want you to notice is as you do this, if there's a temptation to kind of release it out or sit down, I want us to really lead pubic bone forward. I'm keeping an essence of an ab curl and I'm really in my legs here. Take a breath in and then fire back of the legs to pull yourself back up. Take an inhale here. As we breathe out, we're scooping through the pubic bone, glutes are on, quads are on. Take a breath in in that spicy, spicy place. And then quads, glutes, hamstrings, pull you back up. Two more like this, breathing in. As you breathe out, take it back. Hold it here for a hot second. Breathe out, pull yourself up. Inhale, take it back. Enjoy that spicy range. Fire through the lower body, pull yourself back up. One more time here, breathe in. As we breathe out, we know what's coming, we're gonna hold here. So we are long through our spine, we're just not open through our chest, right? We're drawing it in. Enjoying the spiciness through the quads, firing through those glutes, holding for five, holding for four. Maybe you can go further than I can. Three, this is my maximum. Two, last one, and then use the back body to bring you up, maybe take a little break. That was our warm up. That was our little like housekeeping. Where do I where do I arrive in space? Okay, are we ready to add on? Bringing yourself all the way up. If you'd like to change a little bit for this guy, you can reach those arms forward. You're making your hands into fists and you're squeezing those arms nice and tight. So take a second here. Set yourself up. We're tall. We're long, but we're we're compacted yeah so zipping up through your thighs firing again glutes hamstrings maybe those arms are reaching out maybe they're across your chest take your breath in as you breathe out we're teeter tottering ourselves back <sighs> take a second enjoy that work through the body maybe you're supercharged up through your arms back of the body pulls you back up <sighs> inhale here as you exhale take that hinge Feeling the work. Yeah, nothing here is not working. Everything is working to support you. One more breath in. Slowly fire backs of the legs to pull you up. Two more. Breathe it in. As you breathe out, take that little teeter-totter. Enjoy. Maybe you have more range this time. Breathe in. Super slowly through the legs. Pull yourself back up. One more time. This one's going to be different. Breathe it in. As we breathe out, teeter-totter it back and then freeze. Hold it here for 10, for 9, for 8, for 7. Squeeze the arms if they're here or they're here. For 4, for 3, for 2, for 1. Slow and controlled. Bring yourself up. Take a little break. We're going to do one more round of this, but we're going to add a little bit of rotation through the upper body. So pick a range that works for you, right? Like, of course, it's my job to be our cheerleader and be like, you can do it. Do more. But... You'll see even for me, like I have my own range too. So pick somewhere that is going to work for you so you don't feel too much through your low back. And let's do it. I don't want to give too much away because I kind of want it to be a surprise when we get there. So we're up nice and tall. Arms are active if they're active or they're across your chest if they're across your chest. 
we're going right into our hold. So setting ourselves up, drawing the ribs in, finding that bit of a pelvic tuck, glutes, quads, hamstrings are all active here. Take your breath in, all together, nice and slow like we're in the matrix. Let's take our body back. Now, your arms are gonna be out. We're gonna flip those palms to face up. Keep your hip bones pointing forward and lead with the left arm as you rotate and open your chest to the left. Lean a little bit more to the left, but keep your hip bones pointing forward. And then exhale, close the arms up. Arms are nice and tight, breathe in. Palms are up as we breathe out. Let's rotate and slide that right shoulder to squeeze into your left as you open the right arm up, breathe in. And then bring it all back to center. Inhale here. We're gonna open out to the left. Now we're gonna hold it this time. Reach through the arms, open through the collarbones, both of your hips forward. We're gonna bicep curl with our own body weight for 10. Reach it out for nine. Can you keep the tone in your muscles even when your arms reach out? Six for five. Keep the legs active. Four, still trying to open through that chest for three, but keep the hips forward. My legs are on fire. Last one, reach the arms, bring them back to center, pause, recalibrate center. Maybe you need to take a quick break like I do. And then we bring ourselves back. Let's go to the other side, grand finale, breathe in. As you breathe out, open the right arm out to the right. We're open through that chest. Pubic bone is scooped, we're lengthened with the torso. Little bicep curls here for 10. Reach out, squeeze, nine. Glutes are so, so on, eight. Lengthen through that spine, seven. Showing off those muscles, six, you can do it, five, I'm saying that for me too, four, for three, four, two, last one, reach the arms, come back to center, bring it down. Oh, that was exciting, you can give your legs a little zhuzh, I'm going to take this blanket away. If you'd like to go just for a little bit of a, a relaxing opening can take it back here. Requires a lot of flexion through the knees, so maybe you just wanna do a little hands to low back open here. But if it feels good to lean back, you can lean back. Taking a few breaths in and out to calm the system back down. And then you're just gonna roll over onto one hip, bring those legs around. Let's cross through our legs so my right foot is in front of my left. You could also, if it's in your range, stack those legs on top of each other. We're going for a forward fold. I'm gonna keep mine crossed. We're gonna inhale, reach those arms up, and then dive it forward. As you inhale here, you can inhale into the back of the right hip, the right shoulder. Breathing in and breathing it out. If it feels good, walk those hands over to the left. And as your hands go to the left, feel the right hip hug back a little bit more. Breathing in and out. Take one more breath in. As you breathe out, walk those hands back to center. Bring them all the way up. Let's plant the left hand down beside the left hip. Right arm comes up and a little side bend over. So that was your little glute stretch. <laughs> Breathing in here. Breathing out. And nice and gently, bring yourself all the way up. Let's switch sides. So left leg comes in front of right, or if it's in your mobility to stack them, just make sure the feet are flexed. You could totally do that too. I'm gonna keep mine crossed. So let's inhale, those arms come up, and then bring it forward. So I am slowly working on YouTube. I'm almost there. I think we might be good to go for next week. Um, I will keep you posted. <laughs> Very exciting. The saga continues. Walk your hands over to the right. Feel the left hip draw back. Taking your breaths in and your breaths out here. Walking those hands back to center. Bring yourself all the way up. Right hand comes down beside right hip. Left hand comes up. Side bend it over. And then bring it all the way up. You can inhale, reach both of your arms up in space. Bring them down, give yourself a squeeze. Thank you so much for all of your hard work today. Thank you for bearing with me. We played with a little bit of rearrangement through the mats, but you worked through the whole back chain of your body. 
from your feet all the way up to the back of your neck. We worked through our arms, biceps, and triceps. We worked through our abdominals in multiple kinds of ways. You worked through your quads as well. Um, we worked through our chest. So know that you worked really, really, really hard today. Um, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.